Hey everybody, just uh, want to take a couple minutes to talk about the flame deflector. Uh, we're here on level 7 underneath the missile, and if we look the other direction, we look down into the flame deflector, and it's really just a big wedge of concrete, that big wedge right there, that directs missile exhaust into the north and south exhaust tunnels. And, uh, of course, there's the, one of the water injection nozzles right there. There's a Another one right over there. We can actually go down here and get a little better look. Uh, this little platform crew used to call this the diving board. So let's go down there and, and take a look. So we go up this little stairway right here. Oh, pay attention, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Uh, this way, and out onto the diving board. So here, you get a really good look at the flame deflector. They used to call this the W. Well, almost everybody still calls it the W because of the way it looks in profile. So there's, there's where we were looking down a minute ago, and there's the north and the south exhaust tunnel. Now those make big U-turns and they go into vertical shafts back to the surface. So let's go down and have a look up and see what happens. Okay, so here we are in the bottom of the flame deflector. Uh, from here to the top of the deflector is about 14 feet. And uh, you can see again the level 7 flooring down right there in the uh, water injection nozzles and so on. Uh, so let's have a look uh, up the exhaust shaft here and see what we can see. I'm not sure my flashlight is good enough. But... There, you can just see the framework at the top of the uh, exhaust shaft where we actually covered the vents with concrete up there to keep people from falling in, which we thought would be bad for business. And you can also see there are sound attenuation modules here on the wall of the exhaust shaft as well. So there's a quick look into the flame reflector. Thanks for watching.